this. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament Should be working, I don't understand. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament Seven. Man, this sucks. Missing some good matches right now, man. Fuck. It's still not showing? No, you're live. Okay, great. Yeah, the mic's working. This mic's working. 100%. I don't know about that one. Yeah, you can hear, but you can't speak. So I think red is player one. So I think red is player one. Oh, two is player two. Hello, hello, hello. <coughs> All right, so I guess we got microphone, just no audio. Microphones are working. So while we're setting up, own two gets beat down three zero. The stream can hear us. Yeah. Nah. I can hear the game, but I can't hear. He can't, I can't hear uh, Pleasant Man. That will, I, never happen. that will never happen with this setup. I just heard the uh, the stream fall, uh, the stream alert, the follow alert. Yeah, I can hear that. Uh, I think it's one over. Uh, I think it's one red. Red, you're player one, right? Yeah. So we got most of our technical difficulties out the way. Um, this is our first match of the day with hands on site going against Owen 2. We got a Steve Mirror going on. So far, hands on site for the KSU squad is up one game. And for those who don't know, the commentary for today is RC Mag Panther with Pleasant Man. How's it going, guys? Pretty good turnout today. Pretty good turnout today. I expected prior about the same. Good turnout. We had so. we have over twenty people. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. I think it's bigger than a traditional Marietta Heights. Maybe because of the location. Doraville's kind of a, a good spot to be in. So the one thing about these two players is, well, they're both playing with Steve, but they both can be aggressive as hell, <laughs> especially with uh, hands on sight. Hands on sight, more of the. Uh, Hands on sight, love playing mind games when it comes to his opponents. He doesn't know if he's actually decided to do any trickery just yet on on two. But both both players are pretty high caliber, especially here within the scene. What's up? What's up, Slim Cat? So we got a little bit of back one action there going on from hands on sight. Drops the combo though.
Lots okay. of flicker jabs. Okay, good punish. Solid punish, the Solid punish into the plus frame situation. And just like that, 0-2 is on wrong. the board. Honestly, out of these two, Honestly, or, at out least two, two or at least between the two, I, I find red to be a lot uh, safer, and 0-2 will, will take a lot more risks. As, as many risks as a Steve right. player can take, I guess. Especially at the wall. Especially like, at the wall. Like, 0-2 will open himself up for the reward. The wall game and the open and, uh, game with Steve is... is it's scary, but I wouldn't say it's, it's as scary as compared to a high-level Brian type player. I don't know. I think all the good. I don't know. I think all the good characters in this game have scary wall games, so it, so it's hard to make that comparison, right? Like if you if your character is considered good, you have a good wall game, and Steve is definitely one of those characters. Yeah. I think he's pretty terrifying in the wall, especially like the new peekaboo changes. Oh my god, he got a resplat there. Nice duck. Nice duck. Oh, this is all tied up right here. Manual flicker combo. Oh, he could have got Ooh, Sonic Bang. No. Oh, no. See what I'm talking about? The big risks? Right, going to. We're trying to go for a setup there. Do you see what I'm talking about? The big Do you see what I'm talking oh, about? The big risks in the last round here? Sonic Drive. Two guesses. Tied up? Two guesses. Tied up? Uh-uh. No, he's not dead. There we go. No, he's not dead. Yeah. yeah. Going to picks up a game. Red let that one slip by him. Red let that one slip by him. A couple bad decisions. A couple bad decisions. Yeah, we got a lot of good players here today. Yeah, a lot of good players all around today. Gang is Dawn, Hala Hala, Good yeah, Dalla, Hannah Bell, Some representatives Wiza. from the second house here with a uh, true 404. Yeah, 96 Mr. is here, 96. Truth. Rashid. Yeah, Rashid. Always. Yeah, Rashid. Always. Oh, I, would I, I would consider him to be the number one seed today. At least given his last, last ABO and, uh, you know, FGC Fight Club performances. I'll good pick up. Almost. I'll good pick up. Almost. Lows. Going for the albatross lows. Back one, Back one in neutral. Very common. Oh wow, nice. He guessed, oh, wow. nice. He guessed when wrong. When you get hit by that peek below, so it, it's, it's not so much a true guess because you can interrupt with a down jab. But he hasn't done that a single time. Oh my god, he get the big low. Oh my. Oh and two flying off the rails. Get all there with the delayed hop kick. Teased him. Winning the flicker stems and still caught him. Good break. See what I'm talking about? So Red is playing so much more patient now that he has the life lead. And a simple jab right there, and hands on sight is on the board. Like just doing, like just doing the back one flicker cancels instead of moving around in neutral keeps him safe. Like that, see what I'm talking about? Like that, see what I'm talking about? When he's at range two, range three, there's really almost no risk to doing that, especially in this mirror. Because he doesn't really have much, maybe outside of quarter circle forward one. Good block there on the 442 there from, punish. from 0 and 2. Some of the best in the game for sure. Got a trade there. Oh, uh, that could have been big. Sonic Fang? Oh, yeah, it takes the ground. Another back one, there we go. The string gets big back one. Uh, uh, take it to the wall. He's dead. Sonic Fang for the kill. Good conversion there from oh, that was 1-2. Oh, we're breaking grab. Can you get the pickup? Nice. That's a very hard pickup. Wow. You know, I'm glad Red's not playing Joe's today. Oh, no. I saw him playing her earlier in casuals, but it looks like it's pinning up, right like up right now. I said I'm glad he's not playing Joe's today. I said I'm glad he's not playing Joe's today. Oh, uh, hands on sight. Because I saw him playing him in, earlier. He was playing her in casuals and, earlier. Uh, he and uh, he, he's Well, the thing like about hands on sight is... He has his um, his student, his protege, Yoshi, and he's very familiar with the the Josie setting. So I guess he decided, let me um, since I'm teaching her teaching Yoshi how to play, let me at least Yoshi. 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 Yeah. No, his, he has a student named Yoshi. Where the, where Hands on sight. Where the, where she's uh, she's in New Jersey. Shouts out to Yoshi. Yeah, she. Her name is Yoshi. Well, her stream name is Yoshi, but she plays Josie. Shouts out to Yoshi. You know, for 0-2 be be being such a high caliber player here in Atlanta, Red kind of sweeped that one. Like, I know it's 2-1, but if you watch the matches, they weren't really going back and forth too much. It was definitely like an uphill climb. But it's a Steve mirror, so you would thought, you know, it was just nothing but an all-out brawl. 
But um, yeah, there, there were some risks taken. There, there uh, were some risks taken uh, by Owen too, where he probably will look back and say, you know, like I didn't mean to do that or I shouldn't have done that. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's pretty cut and dry, mm -hmm. Steve. Here. So our next match right now, I see Rashid is uh, is uh, approaching the stream setup. I think it's going to be MYK Jump. I think it's going to be MYK so Jump. Okay, so it's going to be Rashid against Mick Jump from the Golden Anchor Squad. Um, for those who don't know, Rashid is a veteran OG Tekken player, originally from Savannah. Moved out here from Atlanta years and years ago. So he's definitely familiar with the scene. Um, more known for his for his joke. Excuse me, not joke. He knows how to play with jokes. Excuse me. He's, well, he's more known for his Julia play. Uh, not to say you can't play. That, other not to say he can't play other characters. He can, he, play, yeah, he can characters. play other characters. He's he a veteran. Can he, he can play almost every character. So he he has uh, Julia, who is his main. Anna, Nina. He plays Kuma, Jin, Anna, Nina, Bob. I mean, the list goes on. So we'll see who he decides to bust out today. I, kn I know in like the t uh, traditional start of this bracket at uh, 404, at least in casuals, he might not play Julia, so we'll see. I thought he was an Eliza player. One of those characters is much more stable than the other. He also has a pocket shaheen, but he dropped him. Mm -hmm. So both characters are going straight to their mains. Rashid definitely the uh, person to beat today. At least in my opinion. But again, we appreciate everybody that's tuning in. This is the Doriaville Heist here at 404 Esports. A lovely Sunday. Kind of unfamiliar for us to have a, a local on a Sunday, but we're getting things done. It's Atlanta. It's Tekken. People are going to show up no matter what day, no matter what weather, time of day. People are going to show up and play some Tekken. So yeah, Eliza. Ooh. Get a little bit of war drum action there already. Got mixed up there. The thing about Julia uh, in these best of threes is he's going to have to be on like some layer two shit. Uh, or he's going to try and resort to layer one and then learning as quickly as possible. He's already trying to float around. See, he's already trying to float around. Oh, got a nice conversion there. Because most of her shock and pressure, because most of her shock and pressure leaves you at like this minus two situation. So you're, you're making, right? your, opponent so you're, you're making your opponent play around it, but you're also having to play around that, that frame. I don't know. Is that a punch? I don't know. Is that a punch? Bow and arrow on the slide. Bow and arrow on the slide. Maybe. Good grab there. Chip. Mix. Oh, Got quite. the wall chip. Oh, not quite. Threw him off and was able to finish it up. Uh, yeah, that that is uh, super not plus. Down so down. not even a down jab will interrupt that. Oh. Good way, good way. Oh. My money's on Rashid, but I mean, obviously there are other people here. That yeah, I'm going with on. Rashid as well. Um, like I said, because he's a veteran, he has good game sense. Oh, okay. Perfect. Wow. A perfect responder. And just like that, McJump is on the board. No interrupt on the deck, but he got no green. interrupt on the deck, yeah. but he got green. Oh. Did it again. Oh, there yeah, that's a big launch. Here Interesting comes the Julius stuff. Move. Interesting thing about that move is actually not launch punishable. It's one of those Hayachi situations, right? You're going to do the double, double hustle. Obviously, obviously, like if you block it, obviously, you only really get a yeah. So if you block that yeah. move, so if you, you block that move, she, if you don't block that move, she gets a launch. All you get is a little bit of punish. Oh, my gosh. That was not good. Oh, my gosh. That was not good. Don't know if that was planned, but like I said, veteran savvy from from Rashid there. I'm not giving him the benefit. I'm of the doubt. not giving him the benefit for the doubt <laughs> for that one. That. Or she did not mean to do that. Oh, I was expecting oh. the low. I was expecting the low. Interesting. Ooh. Dark on the back. Shop. Nice dock on the back. Good size step. Great size. Yeah, he should be dead. Uh, yeah, uh, he should be dead. Uh, he, uh, 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 he does the max wall carry. 
yes, and sir. just like that, Rashid takes the first game. You hate to see that dying. You hate to see that dying with two meters. It's almost like dying with X. Well, the thing is, game. my times um, playing against McJump, he doesn't. He's not a. What's the word? He's not too reliant on the meter. He's reliant on spacing, with punishing things like that. So. I mean, I'll, maybe, but the last I mean, maybe, time, but the the last time we saw him, he right. at the wall both oh, times, right? Plus one oh, great plus he one tried situation. Duck, think, he tried to duck, I think, and retaliate. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Good punisher with the one-two yeah. there. Is she uh, definitely uh, not going to take uh, any risk? Is she definitely not going to take any risk here with like that much of a life lead, and especially when it's right. at the wall like that? Well, she takes the first round in the second game here. Bow and arrow at the wall, 4 4 3. Nice. Try to mix it up. Nice, block on the hell's of a no punish. Eliza doesn't have a hop kick. <laughs> I mean, she can get anything. I mean, she can but. get anything. But usually in that situation, it, it would be better, it would be beneficial to have a hop kick. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. She definitely has a wall saying launcher. Though, she definitely right? has a wall saying launcher, though, right? Uh, I'm almost positive. I'm almost positive. And especially with meter. There's and especially no with meter. There's no way his character doesn't have a wall saying Unless you don't want to count DP as the launcher. <laughs> Okay. Sure. All right. Yeah. All right. Sure. Anything. And you can combo it as long as you have that and one. And you can bar. combo it as long as you have that one bar. Great hop kick on the low. Great hop kick on the low. Can you get the wall spot here? Can you get the wall spot here? That was a little. Oh wow. That was a little. Oh wow. Just, just raw. Do it. Okay. Shades of Katarina. Shades of Katarina. Yep. See. Yep. Okay. See. No punish. Wow. It doesn't block him off the suit. Wow. It doesn't block him off the And suit. just like that, Rashid takes the second game. A valiant, strong, from McJump. Gotta love Rashid. Gotta love her. She's taunting the number ten seed. Uh, you mean like the back three? Yeah. Uh, you mean like the back three three? Yeah, you can. No, you can punish it. He just wasn't aware. Yeah, of it. and it is a big reward. Uh, and it is a big reward for a low like, risk, right? Like even if you block it, you're not getting like a huge launch. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Uh, distance could play a factor. Uh, distance could play a factor. I mean the move. Yeah. In I mean the move like, in itself. The, the like the, move, the weakness of the move is that it late. it low crushes so like, late. Yeah. So like Jin's down four. The reason why it's good is that it it, it will high crush super super early. Like almost immediately when you press it, it'll high crush. But with Julia's back three, I mean she like takes her time, like going all the way back and then all the way down. So once she's already in there, it's a good move. But the bad part of the move is when it starts up, right? So. That's really when you want to like and interrupt. Rashid and Rashid had it done it a couple times so already, so I wasn't the surprised. Time did, yeah, the first time he did it, he, I think he was testing him because he didn't do the extension. Uh, but jump didn't block uh, it. But jump didn't block time, it so. all the yeah, time. Time so. block it, there's Well, the third time he did block it, but there's no problem. Uh, here we got another follow. <clears throat> Thanks for tuning in to Slimcast channel. We really appreciate it. Bring you this Doria little heist. Yeah, 404. Yeah, 404. I love this venue. So our fan. next match. Our next match is, this guy's been on a roll as of late, uh, especially since TFC and being featured on Poke Top Stream on his Monday nights. We got a man getting his Don, going against KSU's Holla Holla Get Dollar. You're familiar with uh, Mr. Holla Holla. I am. I Can am. Can you tell us about him? Uh, he doesn't like hop kicks. Uh, he doesn't <laughs> like hop kicks. He hates hop kicks. He hates hop kicks. <laughs> I didn't say anything. He's a great player. He's a great <laughs> player. <laughs> Very solid Mishima. Uh, doesn't, mess uh, doesn't mess around with too he many other characters. Other characters. He, he will play other characters, but especially at tournaments here in best of three it's situations. I'm really, I'm really sad that he got an infinite stage. really sad that he got an infinite stage because Devil Jim does not do well. On and this type as of stated before, going against Genghis Don, who's been on a roll as of lately, being featured on Pulp Chop Stream, he got 13th at TFC, traveling with our uh, that group there. Um, he's definitely he definitely Good leveled up low. within these past month or so. So he, he's definitely something to be uh, mindful of. Oh my gosh, gets interrupted. That's one thing that Katarina will, That's one thing that Katarina will abuse on this stage is the fact that her combos don't have to end in right. some sort of uh, like 4, 3 plus 4 situation. <coughs> so like I feel the infinite stage year especially benefits Katarina. And Devil I think. And Devil I think. Being one of oh, great sidestep on the fourth four, but also Devil Jin being one of the uh, few characters less who neutral is on less than neutral on right? Uh, right? So like it actually is a detriment to him. But both players, uh, but both players are kind of feeling each other out uh, this early on. I, I wonder how much Devil Jin experience uh, Don has because that that was a really clean sidestep on the fourth four. Oh, he was not I do know that uh, Genghis Don does. He's he's a lab monster. He labs. So. 
him being familiar with the matchup shouldn't be a surprise as much if you're spending that much time in the lab. He could have got a 13 print punish. He could have got a 13 print punish on that, but he went for the 11. Electrics. Clean electrics. Okay, 1-1-2 punish. Okay, punish. Oh, man, that was a big oh, whip. Boy. Oh, man, that was a big whip. I don't think he could have done anything. Was too far. Don's just poking, trying to fill him out there. Katarina definitely that type of character that will blow up uh, your mistakes. Did we get a subscribe? I, I'm hearing a new alert. Slim Cat with all these uh, soca and reggae tunes as alerts and whatnot. Hearing him in the background. <laughs> it was a shame he couldn't get more. It was a shame he couldn't get more. Yeah. He left him at the pixel. He left him at the pixel. It's kind of refreshing to be. It's uh, kind of refreshing to be uh, at 404 like, here and like have the turnout we do, but also feel like less people, like, less people right. are here because DBZ's uh, not here, uh, Street Fighter's not here, the Marvel board, Dragon not Ball's here, not here, Dragon Ball's like yeah, Dragon Ball's not here. So usually it's packed in here, but it's actually pretty pretty fresh. Okay, so definitely taking it forgotten. Okay, so definitely taking it forgotten realm this time. Holla holla, get all love the stage. I mean, and for good reason. Four breaks, plenty combo opportunities. It's really just. The, it's really the, I mean, just the. Season two, he I mean, liked the stage season, well, season two, he liked the stage as well. But in season three, have, uh, uh, now that you have uh, kind of the back end of one and kind of right. the gate ender, uh, it, it's super, super effective on the stage. He's gonna need to play a little bit more. He's gonna need to play a little bit more active defense, uh, I think, if he wants to take this win. Checking him with the lows there. Oh my gosh, just peppering with the lows, side step uh, forward. Uh, forward. Yeah, Drop it Yeah, just a little bit off axis. Checks him with a jab. Ooh. Nothing guaranteed here. Yeah. Nothing guaranteed here. Yeah. It's a really ground. dangerous situation. That's a really dangerous situation. The oh lows again. Oh my gosh. These really big ones. These there really go. big ones. I could have been so big. What's he gonna do? Okay. What's he gonna do? Okay. I'm surprised it's the first time we saw. I'm that surprised it's the first time we saw that. Oh my gosh. That was so weird. Wow. That was so weird. I'm almost positive that's a. Proper I'm almost punish. positive that's a proper punish. Both players side stepping. Both clockwise. players side stepping clockwise. There you go. Great punch. Good. Great punch. Off the there we go. Get off the Lock the hell sweep. Just outside the, the range. tail end of the launcher. Wow. Oh, almost got the wall. Oh, that almost nice. got the wall. Ooh. That would have been Straight up electric. All right, definitely the new move. All right, definitely going down this time. Floor break. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. All these combos are dropping at Katarina. All these combos are dropping at Katarina. That run is so dangerous. Oh my gosh, that run is so dangerous. The thing is, he hasn't convinced uh, Hala Hala Gizala to, uh, to, uh, to, get to, to the not the press the button with the uninterruptible uninter 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 run He's just been doing the big reward. Oh, oh my gosh, what a whip! This is gonna work! The rage art from Hala Hala connects, and he takes the round. Yeah, tied up here. Yeah, tied up here. He did not want to deal with any more of that pressure. He, he had the red dress on, and he took advantage of it. That down forward one two, uh, down forward one two, uh, very strong. Oh, just barely missed, but the punish. Oh, just barely missed, but the punish. Oh, phone. Uh, uh. Going downstairs for sure. Oh, I think he wanted the wall. Oh, I think he wanted the wall, but he messed up the combo a little bit. Oh she my gosh. Oh, gosh, you hate to see that. Uncharacteristic drops here. Uncharacteristic drops here from both players. Great one. That is one thing that Great one. That is one thing that Gengistan is pretty good at. She covers a lot of ground. She has that look too. So Gang is done is up two rounds to one in the second game here. Advantage is on his side. Picking your spots against uh, your spots against uh Gang is done is very important. And Eric just hasn't been having oh, the hell there, uh, there we go, uh, there's the hell uh, sweep. Uh, there you go. Caddy corner. Wall. Yeah, he didn't have enough time to the uh ground. Oh great block. Oh great block. And he gets the wall. How's he gonna break the floor? He's not. Woo. Low jab, checking him out there. Getting her up. That's so weird that he, so weird that he, he tried to condition him on the hell sweep in both rounds, but he, he only got hit by one up four four the entire time. I don't know. For a moment, either, either, some, very good either, either some very good defense or just the, a combination of uh, the inability to be. For a moment, that I really thought Hollow Hollow was gonna let it rip on the rage drive there, but there was uh, you know probably like two or three instances where he just kept checking him with the low jab. And probably was just waiting for another one to whiff, and he could have just let it rip. But who knows? 
There's a lot of compact offense there. There's a lot of compact offense there, and I think if you try to do the raise drive, you definitely want to get hit out of it. Uh, because it is a uh, crash dash motion, right? And both players were playing that rate of zero game. I think it would have been a huge risk. And, you know, when you're down on life like that, sometimes you need to make the risk, but Eric didn't think so in that situation. So, holla, 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 get Dala. <laughs> Not out of it yet. Not out of it. He's going into the loser side of the bracket. <clears throat> but it looks like we're about to have uh, <laughs> Rashid come back to the stream station. <coughs> and, um, yeah, oh, good. this is going to be a doozy here. Okay. So, we got Rashid going against KSU's hands on site. This should be entertaining. Why aren't you just using uh, that? Well, like, you could log in with Greg's, uh, you know, tournament. This, this is your tournament, right? So, like, you should be able to keep this, do this on that. You can update. Both players the are doing their due diligence and desyncing the previous controllers. So, again, guys, we really Be appreciate quiet. you guys joining us here at 404 Esports on this lovely Sunday, part of the Doriaville Heist. Oh, uh, I see. With, uh, I see. with Slim Cat. That's pretty smart. Uh, this is RC Mac Panther 22, joined on commentary with Pleasant Man. Yeah, hands on sight and Shinker. I hope you guys enjoy this Tekken. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm big chilling on, on Sunday, you know. Got me some Pocky here. Out here at Doraville. So Rashid, on with the Julia. Hands on sight coming in with the Steve. Two sk high skilled players here in the city. Yeah, this will be a very, mm. very good match. Yeah, this will be a good, very, very good match for sure. One thing that I've noticed about Red is that his defense is so good. If you guys are in the chat, make sure to uh, tell your friends. Tune in some good Tekken. I know it's a weekend. Sunday, top eight. I think there's a couple other tournaments going on as well. But yeah, you got the, uh, the game work. No, no, no. The never game enough work Tekken. tournament going on. Um, East Coast showdown. Oh, great punish. I'm surprised he was familiar enough with that that string to punish that. I think there was a big old way. tournament in Toronto as well. And then some uh, some international tournaments going on today as well. So Tekken all around. I, I did, yeah, yeah. What I think of it? I think Red is pretty good at that fucking pickup. That was pretty that was pretty hot. Flicker jabs. Yeah. Good conversion there from hands on sight. Sitting in peekaboo. Oh, the reaches the wall. Oh, the O and two? Is that the O and two? Down four three. Testing. Don't have them party crashes. Putting them extra frames on them. Those players are so patient. Force hook 4 2. Doesn't get anything for it. Jab punishes. That's a 13 frame, yeah. Might have been a little bit better if you got the Sonic Bang, but you know. He's in right. the That move is actually plus. That move is actually plus at the tip distance. I, I think no it was idea. there, but it's something to be aware of, yeah. So it's out the range drive. This block. She's still got the red dress. Good oh, patience great. there from, from hands on sight. Keeping him in check with the jabs. Ooh, rising to. Alright. Finally oh, catches him yeah. ducking. Take it to the wall. Yeah, too low for that. I'm surprised he ducked there, not gonna lie. Every, every time you duck, it's a every, every pretty big risk against Julia, especially with how good her mids are. Wow. You'll notice that uh, Rashid actually isn't going for like the high risk stuff as much anymore. Like against jump, he was doing uh, a, lot, a lot more bow and arrow, uh, a lot more while standing launchers. See that right there in that situation? That was Rashid didn't break that throw though. 
Yeah. Yeah. Very uncharacteristic, yeah. right? I mean, you can't be 100 percent all the time. On the okay, back so he one. Does the extension gets the counter hit back one. Like a one one. There we go. Got him on the side wall there. Peekaboo. Side switch. Julia getting forced back into the corner. Ooh. I'm surprised he's going for that. Floor. Floats him out with the magic four. Wrong combo. Again, Rashid now breaking throws. I like how Red waited there. I like how Red waited there. Good low though to check him. That break. break there from him. Launch that. Ooh. Could have been bigger. He might come back to regret that. Might come back to regret that. One more decision. I knew it. I knew it. <coughs> wow, I can't believe he went that low. Takes a game. Tied up 1-1. One, one. I knew he was going to do War Drums. Throw, so After that throw, you get so many situations for a tech trap with that move. Wow. It's, it's incredible. It if it would have actually connected, I think he would have won. I don't remember how low, uh, remember how low uh, Red was. So, no say Run it back. Sticking on it on Hammerhead. What a sidestep on the running one. That's another good thing about Hands on Side, his movement and his awareness. Makes him, a, course, like you said, a scary threat amongst the scene out here. Oh, he blocked all of that strength. Oh, he could have, yeah, he could have got bigger. Rashid really likes that quarter quarterback four, too. Nice duck on the back four. One thing Julia is kind of weak at, her homing pressure. She only has a couple moves. One of them is from the uh, crouching position, right? So back four is really her only uh, other back option one. in that regard. Oh my gosh, he would have got the wall too. These tiny mistakes are adding up. Too far. Too far. There you go, party pressure four. No war drums, the stash is four. Great delay on the two. Bang, boom, boom. Peekaboo. Doesn't finish. Great there. There we go. See, that's what I was talking about. See, that's what I was talking about. It's a good thing that Red didn't tech there. I don't think he was ready for that. I don't think he was ready for that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I don't, I don't think he was quite ready for the counter hit to actually happen. It's a very unfamiliar situation. Oh my gosh, go to the mid. Step on him. Keep the receipt. Just up there from hands on sight. And hands on sight is one round away from knocking Rashid down to the loser bracket. I'm not gonna lie. Handle in sight is the most consistent I've seen with that combo. I mean, he did drop the ender there. I mean, he did drop the ender there, but let's not focus on that. He got the hard part. Oh, that's actually minus 13. Buddy pressure there. Ooh. And she's just trying to condition him there for a second. It's crazy how good of a player you can be, like Red is, and not know uh, minute things about everyone in the cast, right? Like, he's been playing almost. Now, right? What, like eight years now, right? Between no, tag no. two and oh, this game? Uh, no, no. Uh, so, like, uh, Red. The so, like, the fact that he isn't familiar enough to know that, to know that like, the, the down back four, one plus two is that punishable is crazy. It just speaks to how good Tekken is. So, kind of an upset. Kind of an upset. Got an upset there. Hands on sight. Knocking Machine down to loser bracket. Just another day in office for that man. Yeah, great match. Yeah, great match. So, uh, off stream, so, uh, off stream we have Metal two. Face and Owen 2. I see Hala Hala um, playing against uh, Toasty. Yeah, Toasty playing Eric. We got a couple new faces um, around here, too. Uh, I see Wiz on the couch. Is playing against Big EA right now. And that's. Well, I don't know if Wizza knows them specifically. Uh, yeah, Wizza's been coming to 404 for a few weeks now. Uh, he's an ultimate player. Um, so we got Mr. 96 coming seven. up against Very Big recently. Zon. He just finished this match against Big EA. Unless he was playing friendlies, I'm not sure. Could be either way. Could be either way. Every time I look at Owen 2, he's wall splatting somebody with the throw. Every single time. Every single time. 
Oh, it was friendlies, okay. So, yeah, BEA was confirming that it was just friendlies going on. So, Mr. Nice Six is just using that, that time to warm up. So, Gang is done against Mr. 96 from the second house. So, regardless, still a, a good strong match between these two players right here that's about to happen. Yeah, 96 has been absent from 4 4 for a couple of weeks, uh, or at least this week. Um, Genghis is pretty consistent. I'm surprised he's not using the. Um, no, he wasn't at that brawl uh, a week ago because he was chilling with his family then. But, um, mm -hmm. of course. Mr. 96 is about to be leaving soon on a business obligation. So, uh, Dream Hike might be his last tournament here in the, in the States, or well, here in, in Atlanta. Maybe or, not. I mean, so maybe what? not. Maybe not his last tournament. Might be his last right. tournament here before he goes over. Uh oh. Last tournament here in Atlanta at, after DreamHack. Uh, what, for like the year or? Oh, uh, like so a Mr. 96 is about to move out west for half a year. Yeah, so, I mean, it's yeah, not so, like he's going to get some cop he'll, out he'll there. He'll still be I can't believe he's going to be that. I can't believe he got hit by that. Just a big launcher out the air. Good block there. Got, got him to the wall, but wasn't able to do anything. Whoa! That's the second time. Don is surprised that I, that connected. He'll take it. Like nah, you're supposed to pretend like you meant to do that. Yeah, no contact. While standing? I'm surprised no punch there. Jamma. One plus Boom. two. Now back two. Uh, uh. If you're breaking any of Marduk's throws, it's got to be that one. There we go. Got him with the lows there. Nice block. Oh no, did commit. Wow. Close that with a down four. It's nice to have an opportunity to take it out. If you get the proper punish. Well, I, don't, I don't even think he was aware that he blocked it, but he was already going to do the wall setting one. At least, at least that's what I would do in that situation. Sometimes you block lows when you don't expect it, right? Round one. Fight. So running back, fire Brimshaw. No changes from anybody. Don definitely doing a good job of holding his ground, checking his strings. He's straight on that low there. Comes to the top, kick. Taking it to the wall. Good block, there you go. Nice block. Um, input error there from Mr. 96. You know, I'm not sure if that uh, duck was to specifically call that string or not, right? Because she could have done either of her mid-high extensions or the low. Uh, but, you know, either way it worked out pretty well. Oh, he's tackled. What's the mix-up? Oh, my gosh. What was he pressing? Oh, he guessed right. I think that was the two. Usually Mr. 96 likes to go for the two throw to get more damage. Yeah. I mean, it's just like King, right? Punish? There we go. One more mix up? Yeah, low. Round three. Fight. And also be mindful, viewers, that this tournament, the winner of this tournament gets a free pass to DreamHack at Lena. Yes. Really? I didn't know that. So, a lot is on the line for that. He is ducking at the wrong times. That entire last sequence had him ducking a couple times and eating the mids. And then when he finally did decide to duck. 
Out there. Now we're coming with the line six and having another input error, but he's working around it, bro. Oh, that low. Wow, not a proper punish. Gang is done. Ties it up. Two rounds of Final points. round. In the second game. Fight. There you go, dude. We count him. One plus two. You guessed right. Metal face beat Owen two. That's crazy. Uh, tackle. Got him against the wall there. Got him with two. Good shit, Cole. This is looking pretty close for Genghis Dawn. Good talk. Oh no. One more. He's got the red dress. Any mistake. Oh my god. There you go. Yep. Oh, good block. Woo. That was a close one there. And Mr. 96 in the point. Stayed calm. Launch fifth. Took the round. Oh, Metal Fist. Man, that's crazy. Round one. Fight. Duck on the throw. That low is so strong if you don't sidewalk it. Oh my gosh, just eats the second hit. I feel like that he could have got the wall there. He went for the tackle Oki instead. Interesting. No, yeah. The way that Genghis Khan uses that magic four uh, is honestly just impeccable. Like the fact that he knows what your timing when you want to press the button to get the counter hit, or he'll interrupt your string. He's very good at that. Fight. Jamma jamma. Oh. Yeah, no break on the wall plus two. Or rather, good break on the wall plus two. This should be the wall. He adjusts correctly. Not optimal, but you don't take it. Into the low again. Oh my gosh, incredible. Round three. Fight. Oh my gosh, ground throw. That was interesting. Eric taking out Toasty. Uh, I guess Wizza is out because he's been on the couch for a while. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7. Yeah, so definitely Steve Katarina. I don't, I don't see him playing anything else. Uh, Steve Fox. Red only really plays Toasty. Katarina Elvis. He's feeling upset with himself. So, off screen, we, we have. Metal face against 96, which you did bring up earlier. Get ready for I the see next battle. 244 going against uh, Rashid. Okay, yeah, and then I 
I believe, uh, Tuesday from uh, Mr. Word. So, so strong matches around. Um, to our left, I would assume there's nothing but friendlies going on. Yeah, uh, I, I think you're right. Who's that bear player? I think I saw him at 404 the other day, too. Surprised uh, Superhero didn't make it out, man. We need some, we need some more bear play out here. <laughs> no, we don't. No, we do not. Uh, so, going into it, round one. I'm interested to see how Red's going to play this out, right? Probably lots of slice different right. I want to see how he deals with uh, her full crouch limit stuff. I would assume well. later on, if he's still alive in this bracket, if any problems that will come his way, he might switch over to the armor pain. He might just still have that. Move. I mean, maybe, but. But, but like, you know. the one thing I've always said about armor king is the reason why I play him is I love the movement option. Before. So having a way that is another way of applying pressure, but you have to use it wisely. I mean, sure, but. You're, if you're a Steve player, you don't really need. That's yeah, not yeah, the yeah. option that you're switching to, right? That low. Yeah, I see him it's trying to sidestep right, and he gets clipped by the wall standing four. He's waiting it out. He's such a patient Steve player. It's incredible. He could have got a little bit bigger of a punish there, but. Dang it. Right Breaking punch. both throws, yeah. Same throw as last time. Get locked. For the fun. KO. Round three. Fight. Yeah, Steve's uh, while standing punish is definitely one of the best in the game. Leaves you in crouch. Huge plus frames. And it's a, it's a, 12, frame and it's a, it's a 12 frame punish, which is ridiculous. There we go. Oh, did he get a pick up? Oh combo. my god. Uh, Calm uh, down. Uh, Step oh. on him. He looked for throw and got thrown himself. Giving up, a lot of space. Giving up a lot of space here. I wonder if that was on purpose. Whittling him down with the red dress. A good sidestep. Nice okay. sidestep right. Round four. Fight. The one ones are, got him with the upper. I'm too late. The low point. Good read there from Yang Yang. Got him on the side wall. Oh, he's really fishing for that Harrier transition. Oh, again. Uh oh. Why he picks this up, he's dead. Oh my gosh. Calm down, Red. We get it. You're good. Hey, you. Oh you my god. Maybe not. Whatever, whatever the commentator split is, let me know. Yeah. Desculpa, mas você vai ter que morrer. Shout out to Greg. Round one. Fight. Way back. Okay. Yeah, no option. He's doing it wrong. He's gonna hit yeah. the wall here for sure. I wonder what the Oki's gonna be. Step on him? Oh, he's playing it so patiently. No Harrier transition. That should be a big punish. The low Harrier again. Wow. That's defense is so tight. Not quite the wall. Doesn't let it rip. Oh my gosh, I think he would have won. He didn't punish that correctly. Oh, doesn't, do the, doesn't pull the trigger on the one. Both times. Really abusing that going into this round. That's crazy all you get is an 11 frame while standing from that. Because that move goes into peekaboo, it's so strong. I'm oh, so patient and hits him with the back one. Yeah, flicker back dashing. Yeah, no way he still gets that pickup. I would have screamed. Oh no, whoa! Big risk. 
Orbital? Just jab punishes, damn. So I think it's a 3-3-3-3. Three, 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 three. No screw. Wow, jabbing him out. King is done, not out of this yet, for sure. He's definitely taking him to the wall. Uh, uh, yeah, big enter. The way he like flicker back dashes side steps around you as you wake up from the wall is actually incredible. He like he like gives you the illusion of space, but also keeps you at the wall. Wow, counter hit. He's getting the wall this time. Wow, I wonder if he could have got something bigger. I don't even know if that was guaranteed. Like Genghis Khan ties it up two rounds of peace. Low. Could have definitely could have gotten something big. Fishing with the down forward too, both players. Wow, Albatross low block punish. Red responding a kind. Wow, low parry after the down forward too is so smart. Because of the way you have to. Oh my gosh. This pressure at the wall. Wow. He just refused to block. Because of the way you have to transition from the down forward two, it leaves your last input in a standing block. So the fact that he knew that he wanted to do a low move. It's very, it's very common, but it's like a very, la it's a layer two situation. So we got one more game. Yeah, yeah. That's a pretty quick tournament. Wow. Round one. Fight. All right, so 2 0. No way he gets that pickup. Albatross. 4 4. I wonder how that break's gonna affect uh, Red going into this match. Didn't go for the hard pickup. Definitely wasn't aware that it uh, connected. He's, he's gonna try the other throw. Yep, yep, yep. Easy read. He thought he would tech as well with the Sonic Fang. Carrier transition low, good block. I was playing casual with Genghis, I didn't think I blocked that a single time. Big back one counter hit. I feel like Genghis Dong is taking so many big low risks here, but they're all paying off. Flicker jabs at the wall, so strong. Magic force out of the peekaboo. Good sidewalk. Yeah, sidewalk right is pretty uh, good in this counter. Here American Wack Dash. Fight. He's a little late. Shooting for casuals, maybe. Nice wall splat. Sonic Tang. Yeah. Wow, big risk. Damn, it's like that game didn't even happen. And Red moving on to grand finals. Was Whack Dash in the, in the bracket when he just showed up? No, okay. Alright. So. That man Rashid ready. He's always ready. This is losing semis. About to go against Mr. 96. 96 is a great gatekeeper, uh, in my opinion. <laughs> He's almost like the first guy that you face as like an up and coming Tekken player in Atlanta, right? That you can't beat. And I feel really bad for Metal Face because he had a great showing. He beat 0 2 to move on. But after you beat one demon, you kind of run into another, right? So like, oh yeah, you beat 0 2, but now you play 96. And if you've never played 96 before in your entire life, the odds are you're gonna lose. Just because of his playstyle, the way the character he plays, the how he plays them, it took me at least a couple weeks to finally get a win in tournament, right? So like, it, that matchup's just it wasn't in your favor at all, Cole. I mean, Sorry, I mean, man. To also, to jump onto that. Um, Playing against his, his gigas was kind of uh, annoying to deal with at times. Well, maybe. It's definitely one of those matchups where a lot of people don't know it. Uh, and, you know, if you are an up and coming second player like uh, Cole is, Melface, then, you know, that could be some unfamiliarity there. But I think he did play Marduk. I'll ask him about it later and see how he thought the match went.
So going into this match, uh, we got Rashida 96. Obviously, no stranger to each other. Uh, both from uh, Atlanta. Yeah, what's up, Corey? We see you. Sorry you couldn't make it out. Yeah, um, I'll probably be here for a while. Grab some dinner or something. So, also recently, uh, no geese and no gigas. I've mostly only been seeing 96 play uh, Marta, which is fine. I wonder how he feels about this matchup. I'm interested to see how he handles shotgun. Yeah, Mission 96 did finish um, Tiger 25th at Summer Jam, not Summer Jam, uh, defending North. He had um, that match against JBCR. So Mission 96 has definitely been putting in the work when it comes to playing with Marduk. Interesting, I, I, I haven't seen Rashid abuse uh, Julia's new moves, right? Either the throw or the side step four. I think side step four is definitely the better of the two, but I haven't seen either. Big risk. He didn't really get that much punished for it, though. Down three magic four. To the wall? Oh, not quite. Wow, no running one goes to the tackle and step. Big damage. He's just playing very solid, very Round fundamental three. Julia. That's my party crash. Fight. I don't even think he's going to need to break out a quarter circle four two uh, layer, honestly. Until he starts swinging after magic four times, he's not going to do it. Ooh. Yep, get off me one plus two. Fakes the tackle. Nice and doing a good job of checking the low down. Got some of the moving. Mix him up the low high there, and he takes the round. Round four. Fight. Ooh, good pick there, but that's a two grab, he broke it. Oh, he tried to interrupt with a duck jab. That's a very common strat against Julia, uh, the wind roll, right? So if you wind roll and you one or two, or any end of your wind roll moves, you get hit out if your opponent does do duck jab. Wow, and as I'm talking, uh, all tied up here. So we got a trade there, and Mitch 96 takes that round. How do you crash before? Got caught with it. Got the side wall a little bit. Bow and arrow. That's guaranteed for the wall. Yeah, he tried to catch him second. No way he does another low, right? No, he didn't. I wonder how he's going to fix this. Yeah, yeah. He misses the ground. Yeah, there you go. Unfortunate, both sides there. Because it was like in the corner, I, I knew as soon as he did the uh, down 4 2 launcher that it was gonna side splat like that. And I'm sad that he didn't adjust. I wanted you to show me something, Rashid. Okay, so switching to Geese. Geese, who had to. And we're going to the arena. I don't see it being any. Specifically different. Specifically different the way he right. approaches this matchup. Um, I think the one thing that Geese doesn't have is the standing launcher without meter, right? He's just going to get the uh, back to the two. And that's something that Marduk does have, right? So uh, he might have to play the spaces a little bit differently. Or maybe he was thinking the way that he was playing was more conducive to playing Also keep in mind that he does have a projectile as a way to getting some type of reaction on, on his opponent. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Yeah, maybe. But they were playing, um, at such, close they were playing at yeah. such close Julia ranges that I, you know, and you just saw him try to fireball there. I don't see that being a thing. Uh, Rashid oh, definitely not the one to four. stand at like range three at all times. Uh, the new move, take it to the wall. Toe kick. Toe kick. Ooh, throughout the parry there, thought he was gonna go mid. There you go. Yeah, side walking around. While sitting, yep, while running two one. Wall damage. Dead. All that pushback. Pretty cheap character. Oh, that could have been big. Try to get that, that down too there, hoping you get a counter hit. Yeah, it's not often that Rashid gives you uh, an olive branch like that, and 96 definitely not uh -huh. taking advantage. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Delayed the last hit, got some extra damage off of that. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good block on the low there from the sheet. Taking it to the wall. Just like that, Rashid is up Round two rounds Fight. in this second game. Lots of down forward 1-1 one, one here. And they nerfed that move too. That move as well. <laughs> Plus rank. Parry. Oh, side oh step. great side, side step. step. Get the combo going. He's not going to get the wall. He got the Oki opportunity. No. You know, if Rashid did the optimal combo there, he would have got the wall. I'm not saying he did something wrong. Oh, jump out with the four. He, the the clock. he didn't even need to do four. But he did down four at one there. And Rasheed moves on. Yeah, in theory, uh, yeah, in theory uh, down four at one when it hits crouching opponents gives you 13 frames of right. advantage, right? Uh, so you can do, you can do, you know, her 13 frame punish versus down four three one plus two, which is what you saw Rasheed do also, there. But you can also get uh, four four three. And it's frame perfect, obviously, but four four three always gets you the while running two one. So it, you're getting like, you know, upwards of 50 damage from a down forward one wow. if it hits. Which is crazy. It is. Which is crazy. Uh, but it is very you know, uh, but it is very difficult, um, and you don't see it too often in tournament sets. Definitely, Rashid doesn't try to do it very often um, because the the, the the risk reward there is a little bit skewed. So we're going to have uh, Genghis and Rashid, best of five. What is this, this loser final? Loser finals. Loser finals, yeah. So again, we really appreciate you guys tuning in with us. The Dodia Bill Heist here from 404 Esports on the north side of Atlanta. Um, big things is on the line today. A free pass to Game Hack is on, on the line here for our second uh, competitors here today. And really, the only ones still in it are uh, Rashid, Genghis, and uh, Red, right? So we're down to our top three right. here. But regardless, it's Tekken, it's Atlanta. The best can come out at any time. So the best are out. The best, well, the best are, are out, out right now. So. Yeah. So losers finals here. We got Shin Kuor, that man Rashid, going against Genghis Dog. I will definitely be looking forward to whoever moves on to face uh, Red again. You know, and maybe possibly possibly get the double uh, the double Elam, right? So again, on commentary, this is RC Night Panther being joined by Pleasant Mass. Yes, sir. Round one. Fight. We're starting it all. So she trying to find his spacing, but Genghis Don is sticking it out there with the lows there, just chipping away at a little bit of damage. Another low, another low. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so uh, we saw Red deal with that low in a very successful way by sidewalking right a lot. Uh, so I'm just curious to see how uh, Rashid will now handle. Well, it looks like Rashid right. made the adjustment, call him to the lows. So he's trying to keep his distance, and just like that, he can't get up right there. there. That's not guaranteed, but if you do try to wake up backwards, you're gonna eat that down. Oh my! Yeah, war drums. Yeah, That's baby. Drum That's my favorite war drum setup. Good punish. Ooh. Lots of lows. Lots of lows. Crouch crouch in the blender there. Yeah, sometimes when uh, she is doing her off you don't realize that she's in crouch, and by that time you're already getting ah. hit by the mix up. Lots of moves that will leave her in crouch that don't look like they leave her in crouch. Yeah, okay, he thought he was going to rise that time. Both players with great shot available. What's the mix? As I say the that, plus range, no break. Not dead? Yeah. Wow. Again. Shotgun. Downtown. Round three. Rashid takes the second round Fight. in the first game, just loses finals. Best three out of five. It's kind of a launch. I feel like he could have got something big, but wanted the Oki. Okay. Uh, for one, trying to catch, stop him from moving. Got a trade there. Yeah, and soon I think you're going to realize that the Angus isn't actually challenging uh, shotgun win roll, like at all. Right? So now he's done something. Yeah, that's a full combo because, yeah, down for three. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Yep. Ooh, try to dash in the space there a little bit. Oh wow, that's that's minus fourteen. Oh, caught him ducking there. Round four. 
fight. Shotgun 101. No response from Genghis. Quarter circle 4 2, nothing. No bite on that. Wake up, yep, you can't do that. Body crasher, another one. Put the extra flames on him. Watch the low. Looking like some matches of familiarity here. Or maybe he knew about the uh, forward 4 2 as well. Why is he forward blocking the low? Yeah, you think they're okay, right back into it. That's the first name. Takes the first name. We're gonna see Genghis Don can make some adjustments there. Fight. Zari's yeah. thinking a few steps ahead of him, keeping his distance, checking him with the lows, interrupting him from doing anything crazy. The delay two on that. The delay two on that uh, shotgun is so strong. Wall splats. Wall splats. Not too, not too punishable. Nice duck. Wow, it doesn't pull the trigger. Good duck there. Yeah, I think he was backdashing back 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 backwards, obviously, so like it worked in his favor. <laughs> Ooh, uh, oh, that could have been huge. Doesn't. Oh, he I can't believe he got away with that. Yeah, you deserve that. Finishing down four, three, one, plus two. Wow. This guy's crazy. Fight. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so uh, he's dealing with Katarina a little bit differently than Red did, right? So the side steps, they're not really it's coming into play as much. But he's doing a lot of uh, like flash ducking, a lot of jabs. Good block there for Machine. Yeah, it doesn't fight on the counter hit bait. He's keeping his distance, being patient. He has to like the oh, magic four into the body crash. I can't believe that kill. I'm sad he didn't even have to adjust his combo for the wall splat. Body crash is trying to put a stop to any shenanigans. Good back dash. Julius, one of those. Oh my gosh, 4 4 3. Oh, 4 4 2. Look how much damage that was. Right, here comes the lows. Not fighting, not getting countered on the second uh, kick there. Uh oh. Yep, that's a combo. Uh, uh, huh. Body crash four. Round 4. Fight. Plus frames. Wow. Plus okay, frames. Wow. wow. Yeah. Eats in second hit. That could have been bigger. Don't get up. Yes, sir. There's the low. Good tech roll. Yep. Lots of win roll. Yeah. Lots of win roll. Uh, Thought you would go low. Try to get him with the running two there. No extension in the back three. No extension in the back three. No sense of four either. Like I said, he's not utilizing any of Julius. I feel like that could have been a bigger punish. Might come back to the fight. Did he counter hit D? I felt like Don just threw that one out there. Maybe. Shout off with the crouchy low there. Oh, interrupts the Harry transition. That's such a good move. Punish? Oh, could have been bigger. Yeah, it's a common, a very common Oh, scenario, shotgun. Right? Counter hit. <coughs> <coughs> Infinite stage. Run in okay, there. Gonna go for the run there Ooh, the go. mix up. There you go. Full that was dog. nasty. Oh my. Wind roll four one plus two for the tech trap. That's, I've never seen that. Before. Ooh, that was nasty. I don't even know if he's practiced that. That might have just been like uh, on the fly. Round one. Fight. Punish him with the one two there. Delayed again. Delayed again. Shotgun. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I think, wow, okay. yeah, I think he's this testing that, right? Yeah. Both players missing some uh, vital points. Uh -oh. No adjustment. Oh my gosh. That ducks the throw. That that, dude, how did that hit? Downtown, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's like trained her out of, uh, you know, committing to Harrier. Oh, Mad Axis. Mad Axis? Yeah, War Drum. Oh, went for the mid. He thought he teched uh, this other way. Body crash. Such a compact move, right? 4 4 1. Fight. Puts extra frames on you. It comes up pretty fast. 
Yeah, I mean it puts you in the Yeah, I mean it puts you in the Julia situation. I mean like she is minus two. So technically it is your turn. But you know, mentally it's not your turn. She has moves to take her turn back. Magic four. Uh, very evasive lows, right? It's dangerous. So it is dangerous to be in that situation. She forces that situation over and over and over. Good size though. Bring the block on the low there. Great punish. And, and again, that's the, the veteranship, the savvy that Rashid has. He, the, I'm pretty sure there's been multiple times where he's been in pressuring situations like this, especially going against a character like Katarina, where you just do the right things at the right moment. Two, one. Two, one. All that damage is both from, All that damage is both from uh, while running 2 1 follow up. Magic 4. Yep. Into the party pressure, and just like that, Rashid is. Heading into Grand Final. Don't forget to subscribe. So we are uh, awaiting. So that was um, all right. So Grand Finals is about to be Rashid going against KSU's hands on site. Am I correct? Slim Cat, our, our director, making sure everything is running well with the stream. Getting confirmation on our next match, our final match, grand finals. So hands on site. Kids use hands on site. Going against. It's about to go down. I honestly can't tell which way it's gonna go, but I think Red got the win already, so most likely he'll win again unless Shenko or Kids. It's gonna be a good match regardless. Um, should oh. be um, a Julia Steve matchup, but I'm pretty sure. Um, I would assume if, if Rashid wants to keep it, well not Rashid, if Hands On Sight wants to at least make it amusing, probably keep it close, probably switch up to Armin King, but I highly doubt that. But regardless, um, Red or Hands On Sight, as we should say, is a pretty talented player. Um, able to just be yeah. very innovative and uh, yeah, deceptive with CPI with his, uh, with his offense. Yeah, just shout out to everyone in the chat right now. Yoshi, um, Tia, Raiden, Mavericks, all you guys. Appreciate the love. Uh, yeah, we got, we got, we got uh, keep close sharing to 20, the, over 20 uh, people event. watching. Really appreciate you guys. Yeah, I think so. That's good for yeah. a stream. Yeah, that's good for a stream that was so last minute. Because we advertised it on FGC Fight Club and shit, shit happened. But well, here we are. Support your locals, guys. Especially here in Atlanta, there's a tournament almost every day, every week, every hour, every second. Uh, we, we do the best we can to try to bring you this high, high quality tech and action as much as possible. So, Grand Finals, Rashid against Hands on Sight. Yeah, so this uh, is a run back from Winter Simi, yep. right? And I don't think they played on an infinite stage last um, time. I'm trying to remember the last time you two played against each other. Uh, uh, you mean well, prior to prior today? To that, yeah. yeah, probably uh, not recently, or at least not at a week. But she doesn't really, or hasn't been entering the four four stuff. Yet. And, uh, in case you guys don't like about that. Or, there are some exceptions, right. I'll say that. No punish on the floor towards four. I believe that's not my side, my bad. Not punish. So already Rashid takes the first round in this first game. I'm, I'm interested to see how Rashid adjusts his combo game to the end, right? Like, we saw on the last, uh... Oh my god, please pick that up. The swaggy combo. So good. We got, we got it, dog. <laughs> You're good. Jeez. At first, I've been seeing hands. Uh, at first, I've been seeing Owen two do that combo. I, I wasn't sure if uh, if Red was able to do that himself. Yeah, no. I mean, both Steve players are, are very, very strong in that combo. Uh, it's just that combo is incredibly inconsistent. Oh, push up. A four one. We didn't see that at all the last two games. Counter hit shove gets the gets the party crash and gets a, a conversion combo of its own. Mixing it up there. Bulldog, one plus two break. I can tell that Red's not familiar with that move. Tried, he tried to mix Ooh, it there, but it didn't, punish. It didn't go the way he wanted to. Well, he could have got a launch punish as well, right? So both players messed up in that situation. Rashid could have spaced that uh, word run better, and uh, you know, on the block end, he could have launched it. So Rashid takes the first game. And Round one. Fight. 
back one. She dead in this man, what's up? It's a trade there. Wow, <laughs> season two combo. <laughs> Plus frame, down for one. Stomp on it. Keep Hurricane the receipt. Two. Now, uh, for those who don't know, there was a uh, a patch for Tekken that came out the other day to help improve the, the stability of the online play. So hopefully uh, th that patch works. Oh my god. Standing three is a hilarious move. It, it's wall splatting, it's minus 14, and it's slow as hell. But for some reason, it still works. Hands looks like got caught with the four there. That is the hardest combo you will ever see, see Rashid do. That is to say it's not a hard. That is to say it's not a hard at all. <laughs> Rashid definitely not the type to uh, optimize. And some would argue he doesn't need. To. Some would argue he doesn't True. need to, right? I was I was, I was concerned that him not changing his combo game onto the infamous stage will leave him at a disadvantage. But he's, he's working with everything else really well, right? So he doesn't have to. He finished the screen. Wow. Four, four, three. Oh, four, four, two. Okay. I thought Round one of the couches four. broke again, Fight. hearing that loud thud. <laughs> Three strikes. Party Crasher, another one. Got to get him the Funnel Circle Fort 2 there. Yeah, definitely uh, not finding success with that so far. Both players, counterclockwise movement. Step each other to the right. Oh, back one. Yeah, great punish. That's her mid option in a lot of situations where you want to block the low, uh, but it is punishable, obviously. Red really is not swinging immediately after uh, Party Crasher here, right? Down 4 2. No break. I believe that was the one throw. 4 into the Party Crasher. No adjustments infinite, max damage. Down 4 2, goes to the miss. Peekaboo. Still in Peekaboo. Ooh. She's fuzzing a little bit, but he's just doing it on purpose. Trying to condition him. I can't believe that. Whoa! Wow, both pairs are blocking so well. Can't block forever, though. I was eventually going to come out, but wasn't sure when. <laughs> So that's two up on Rashid. So we're getting the stage change. I'm back to an infamous stage. <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. So this is game one as Rashid is up two games. Two that's games correct. to nil on hands on site. Hands on site, have to make some adjustments in order to get a reset going. One. Fight. So, back on the infinite, uh, sure. Um, you know, both players definitely going to be walking right more than moving backwards, in my opinion. I cannot believe boss standing to work there. One. Shouts out to Solo, who just walked in the building. Oh, wow. Boss setting for interrupt. Gosh, the war jumps and spacing is not good. Toe kicks. Flicker jab, flicker jab. One simple mix up. So many simple jabs. Yeah. And then the first time he went low, he got lost any two. Uh, there you go. KO. Round two. Fight. Good break on the grab there from Rashida. Good break. Wow, it ties it again. Did he finish the string there? Good job. Trying to get him with the 4 4 plus punches, 4 4 punches. Good block there on the Alpha Chow You can see Red uh, not looking lost, but just trying to figure out what works here. Stepping left on the uh, lashing arrow. Doesn't finish the string. Doesn't break the grab though. Wow, finally doesn't break it. Got the flag from what he dropped it. That could cost him.
well, it wasn't the specific move I was talking about, but yeah, yeah, that is correct. Like, one of the only things that would have worked in that situation, or maybe side step four, were the push ups, right? But, uh, but I think he was doing uh, Party Crafter. Which does high crush sometimes for some reason, but not in that case. Oh, we get a trade going. Oh, no, no up, up forward one finish. Four four. Wow, both are just sitting patiently, lashing arrow. Plus Goes for the sonic drive. Gets blocked. Party crash for four. Oh, this is so dangerous. This is so dangerous. The party crash. KO. Classic. Round four. Fight. And this site has quite the hill to climb right now. Defense. Doesn't break the grab. Oh my god, I think he got a play. Down one, down one. Not too many plus frames, and I think he knows it. Taking advantage of the range zero situation, then all tied up. Tied. Two rounds. Still set point for Rashid. Or rather, reset point for Rashid. Tournament point here for Rashid. Huh? Reset point. Reset point. So, so four two, the big launch. You can actually get more damage than that, but like I said, she keeping it simple. Not a bad thing. It's too far for work. Mad axe is closing it out. Yeah, we got a reset. So, Shinkua, coming from the loop. Reset. Yep. Now we get to see if hands on site can switch over to Army King. Probably play, probably play a little more compactful. Who knows? But we have a reset. It's all gone down. Grand finals and no, re no stage no change, no change. character change. P1 on a roll wow. here with eight wins. We're just running it back. So we're oh, we're just didn't see that. Man. Man. So for for the people who don't know, the, the way war drums works is it's a low and a, and a high. And if the low hits before the high and you complete the string, you get the, the, the finishing launch, right? But uh, you can also do it on counter hits. So if you think you're too close uh, for like the one, or for the four to hit before the two, then you can look for the sparks, right? And that's what he's doing there. Because I think he thought he was too close, but he ended up only hitting with the four. Oh, that's the first time he's finished Party Crash on all set. Or at least one of the very few times. Okay, there was one time, I want to say, in the, uh, the second game. It was the second game. Where he actually connected with the Party Crash before and then able to get the combo, but he dropped it. He dropped towards the end. You know, both players, uh, over the course of the set, not really doing a lot of win punishment as much as they're doing, uh, like, mental frame advantage and setups. At this range zero, and then they're, you know, Punishing the lows when they can, uh, taking advantage of each other's turns. Which is something I should do, which is why I think I never, never beat Red in turn. <laughs> oh, great max, right. Simple mix. Yep, down three. Round three. Down three is pretty uh, far reaching. You know, I mean, it's not the best win, or the best lower, but, you know, it's there. Two out the four there. One eight four no counter hit. Oh, um, that is a difficult pick up, but when you play a character like Steve, you have to have it. KO. Round four. Fight. There we go. There's the logo coming out from red. There's no way he's trying to hit confirm bow and arrow. Out of range for everything, and he's just letting him push the button. There we go. Yep. Oh man. You have to get there in some all center. Good block there. Great block and punish. How's he gonna end it? That's my question. Ooh, okay. Is that a generic girl? 
Final round. Fight. I'm the first there. Sway, flicker defense, flicker back down. Good. Now I'm gonna use the fight start before. Again. Again. Oh, One hit away from Lake. Ah, mix mix. The front fight takes the first game of the reset. Round one. Fight. All right. Yeah. Run it back. No face change. <laughs> Uh, back one, out of shotgun. That's the first time he tried to do wiggle too. And he got a big back one. Yeah, one thing that you, you'll keep seeing is that Julia's lows aren't giving her very many plus frames, right? Like that is actually not plus frames at all. So uh, between that and down three, you're gonna have to utilize her movement. So open up opportunities and another duck on the morning crash. Here. Might have been one of the only punishes that she had. I'm surprised that it worked. Round three. Fight. Good breakdown of the red. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Punish you. Show me sidestep close. So I can go eat. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle. 
But again, we really appreciate the people that are tuning in right now. This is the Doria Ville Heist. This is Grand Finals winner. Gets a free pass to DreamHack Atlanta. And, and we assume our... You know, I think it's one. interesting. I think Red already has a... I think he here. won one because of uh, a plus two and block event, correct? Yeah. No, no. He uh, won last week. Or two weeks ago. Uh, I, I couldn't be wrong. I think Shilla was doing Oh, that. I think you're talking about the... What's the dead end gaming tournament? Okay, there's so many tournaments going on, it's kind of hard to keep track. But he just trying to grab them. I can't believe that didn't work. Is he dead? That's so unfortunate. Yeah, I'm making the Round same fish. I'm also shaking my head. Oh. The race drive looked like it went right through party crash. Mm, no duck. Like you're like you're Yep, getting too big. Actually, that was a Right under the wall. Fix my face. Three splash. Big day. Step on it. Keep the receipt. Woo, boy. Round three. And this is that aggressive playing style that we mentioned earlier about hands on sight. Instant offense. When, uh, when given opportunity. Wow, big counter hit. I like that. Oh my goodness. Good adjustment. Maybe it was the wall. I, I mean, I have to think. And now we see uh, what's the wall. Uh, what's the stage change? Oh, so this is a uh, tournament point for hands on site. <laughs> the shields in the chat. Uh, we're taking it to the Howard Estates. I said it before, you did say this is tournament point. Potentially. Here. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Opening this back one, pushing her to the wall. Playing very aggressive here, Red. Potentially tournament hit points. Red's on site. Just three rounds. Backing off. Playing very compact. Yeah, good one. And actually, it's raw. Usually you see that buffer, right? Right there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. Whoa, what about that? Is that nice. Close to that. Round two. She takes the first Fight. round. <laughs> Tournament oh. life is on the no line for you right now. Good block there. Big block. What's the version? Break the wall. <laughs> Got him close to the wall. Oh my gosh. Good side walk there for the shoot. Oh, no plus go for the down for one there. I think he was trying to do for uh, down 2 3, right? To interrupt. Ooh, counter hit. Oh, big back 3 counter hit. Oh, it's the wall though. KO. Round 3. Fight. Julia back against the wall. Plus three peak. Doesn't let the wall plus three rip. Oh my no, 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 no. Wow, just pushing her back into this corner. Plus three. Take his turn. That's both the corners. Duck and punish. Plus range. Goes for the mid. Oh my gosh, plus any three so strong. Party crash. Round four. Fight. This is tournament point. Or rather, uh, set game point. Burn point for receive here. Another break. Tied up in this reset. Never 
push these back against the wall, it's so scary. It's like dazed animal, dude. Great interrupt. Pick him up. Oh, you're so good. You're so good. Oh man, he didn't let it rip. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, just, just one, one decision. Just make one, one correct decision. And just like that, keeping his composure. Hands on sight. That takes that round. Tournament point. Pushing so the far. Why is Solo screaming? I don't know, he's always screaming. Oh, no. Alright, alright, you win. You deserve it. You deserve it. Oh no. Oh, free splat. Hops over. Doesn't Hopping do over? No tech. Tries to interrupt the wind, the wind roll. Woo, the Anything could do it here. That had to be part of the Nice one, this guy. You're a Gordia Hill High Grand Champion. KSU's hands on site. Good shit, Owen. Uh, I almost called him Owen too. Good shit, Red. Uh, you want to interview like. with, with hands on site? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Your hands. Interview. Cool. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go play some casuals. It was great. Uh, commentating. Good shit to Red. I'm gonna try to play him. Oh, what's up, Red? Good shit. Good shit. Oh, wait, we can, we can actually cuss on this? I am. I am. Oh, wait. Do I, do I need this? Okay, all right. No. Where the mic at? This mic? That's the mic. Okay, you're, sick. That's the mic. Yeah. Right, you're, you're good? How, how do you feel? I'm still nervous. You're still nervous after, after, you're still nervous after, after, after the good, tournament? Right? Yeah, she's pretty good, right? How did you feel about... How did you feel uh, about uh, getting infinite stage twice? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I kind of threw the pride away. I was like, I'm not gonna pick a wall stage. Yeah, I really, I really need yeah, a wall right now. Yep. Yeah, yep. All right, forget yeah, it. Let me. As as I, you hate rematch. Forget so it. Let quick. me. Let me go to. <laughs> like, let me just do, do random. Got an infinite yeah. stage. I'm like. Yeah. Then you threw it. Okay. I think I can do this. Nah. Yeah. I need. I need a wall. You, you've seen the drastic change so when I got a wall stage. Yeah. 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 You threw yeah, yeah, yeah. You threw him on arena immediately after. Infinite loss, infinite loss. There's infinite loss. Arena. Infinite loss. Arena three. So how do you feel about Julia? So how do you feel about Julia? In that match uh, it's like it's all that that whole matchup is literally nothing but timing unless the Julia is kind of like a you know kind of an eight. You, know, you can just kind of walk up to Steve, do a mix up. You know you can do that with Julia, but in that matchup specifically, playing Shinkar, Shinkar, uh, it was like just timing. Okay, am I going to back one? At this perfect time, am I going one to one at this perfect time? Is he going to four four one at the perfect time? Like it was all timing. Uh, I think we both had the same like game plan, really. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I kind of yeah, yeah. well. noticed that as well. Both of you were stepping the same way. Both of you wanted to yeah. be in the same range, and it really yeah. was all about. Timing. I didn't want to run into a magic uh, four. He didn't want to run into a back one. Yep. yep. How do you feel about? How do you feel about? Uh, so, first all, so first of all, your defense is some of the best I've ever seen. How do you get so consistent at blocking some of these high risk moves, right? The, she, you, you convinced Rashid not to do bone arrow. I mean, he probably did it twice that entire reset, right? So, uh, do you have any advice for people that are looking to maybe shut down some of these bigger, middle, high risk, high reward types? Uh, get better. <laughs> get better. <laughs> I, I, I can't even actually tell you, to be honest. I, I felt like it was a fluke, really. Wow, really? Yeah. Wow, really? Well, syndrome. keep in mind, Julia's lows are really, you can tell when they're, about, you're, they're about to come out. Back three has a lot of animation. Back three has a lot yeah. of animation frames. I think the only one she has is down three, but yeah, whatever the on his. toe kick is, yeah. that, that, yeah, okay, that's down, down three. three. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's similar to Steve, you know, because like down one is pretty quick. Peekaboo down one is pretty quick. Everything else though is like you can see it coming. The stomp, you can see it coming. Yep. Down back two, you can see it coming. Uh, but when it comes to bow and arrow, the the thing I was thinking about is the range, right? If I literally duck at this range, I won't get hit by a uh, while standing one. Uh, yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. And the only other option she has really for that mid yeah. is while standing three. So like, 
The ranges are very similar. Very, yeah. very, you, can, yeah. you can apply that to like a lot of characters actually. Where the mids are shorter range. Where the mids are shorter mm -hmm. range than the lows. Uh, somebody told me about how he plays and stuff. About how like uh. Skewed's <laughs> not. It was just like his uh, his philosophy, his mindset on blocking mm -hmm. mids and blocking like lows, high risk, high reward type stuff. And basically, everybody should apply this to their game plan where you got to remember that the lows, well, the mids don't reach as far as lows for most characters, you know. Steve, it doesn't count. <laughs> Four Circle 401 yeah. goes across yeah. the stage. Albatross 2 goes across the stage. It doesn't count. Uh, but uh, you can, like, okay. If you're not if you're not trying to like predict where his core circuit four one is coming out, he can't really open you up. All he has to do is a down one, but you can see that coming, and that's not. You think people can see down? Yeah, one you coming? can feel it coming. It's like okay, I can't open this guy up with mids. He's just blocking. Yeah. He's breaking every throw. I gotta walk up and do down one. All you gotta do now is just change the timing of the down one, right? Or do you like to utilize that move and then kind of sit in peekaboo and do? Other lows, or do you? I saw you kind of. We're just playing the range one game in flicker most of the yeah. time, right? Which oh and two, I play him a lot, and he doesn't do that. He uses like at all, he uses right? like he'll all peekaboo yeah, all the time. Yeah, he'll just yeah. sit in peekaboo. So, so what what do you think the difference is in peekaboo is there? Or do you think one is better I think than flicker the other? Stance is still like way better than peekaboo, really? but peekaboo really? is like how can I put it? If you're more of an aggressive player. And you're trying to stay plus all the time, try to keep the pressure on. Yeah. You're going to want to utilize yeah. Peekaboo a lot, trying to get them to press buttons, get them to duck, yeah, because yeah. Peekaboo down one is, you know, it's, yeah, it's pretty sick. It's insane. So yeah. So if you get hit by Peekaboo okay. down one, right, uh, and you're in that situation, are you trying to like fuzzy the mid or like maybe another follow-up low, right? So do you have any advice for people who struggle with the Steve matchup when you get hit by something getting like hit that? by Peekaboo down Should one? You just yeah. Is it, just a is it just a legitimate guess, or should I be stepping? Should it's I kind of a mid? guess, but you're only like plus. I don't even know, like plus two, plus one. You're not. Steve's not that plus. You can actually challenge. I don't know, Shola. Ignore Shola. Yeah, ignore Shola. Yeah, ignore Shola. But yeah, uh, Peekaboo down one is like the. I think every Steve main only use peekaboo down one instead of down one simply because when they block it, you don't get launched because down one is actually minus 13. I don't think people know that, but it's minus 13. So Josie, Kazia, Eddie, yeah, they can all Eddie, launch that stuff. Yeah. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. So maybe challenge yeah. the duck Also, jab. since it leaves you plus, if you try to jab right after, is they, uh, Steve has a peekaboo two like ready for you. If you try to cross jab, here comes a... Up forward to, yeah, that's what I'm scared. Or yeah, a, or a that's throw because the uh, peekaboo down one a throw I think it's still uninterruptible, but I couldn't use it against him because of the fact that he was back dashing. Yeah, yeah. well, good stuff, man. Thank you. So Congratulations. Much, man. You You're going to Dream Hack. You won two tickets, right? You already have another ticket. You didn't win from 404. You didn't win from 404. This is your first Dream Hack ticket. Oh, okay. See. You want a Dream Hack ticket? Oh yeah. <laughs> Today. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, uh, let's play some later, and you know, I'll see if she wants to get on. Hey Rashid, do you want to talk? Hey Rashid, do you want to talk? <laughs> oh, he's pissed. Rashid, Rashid is mad. He's mad. What's up, Rashid? What's up? Can you even hear me? What's up, man? Uh, yeah, I can't hear you. Uh, yeah, I can't hear you, oh, okay. but I'm just gonna. How right. do you feel? What's going on? So how do you feel? What's going on? I beat myself. Okay. Uh, he's a good player, but okay. I beat myself because he was ducking so much, like at certain ranges, mm. so it discouraged me from losing lows like that. I should have kept it up before yeah. I beat it from the game plan. If I was going to make him duck from that situation, then I would have been able to shotgun him. But I messed up some of my execution too, so like that kind of like helped him out in his favor. But It was a close set. Yeah, it was a close set. I kind of feel like I should have won that had it just stayed to the plan. That last round, he rushed me down. That was the smartest thing for him to do, so I couldn't get started. So I was like, okay, cool. You doing that. So like, I kind of had no chance that part. He earned that last round. 
But everything else, I should have been able to take him out. So, especially it was like one, yeah. one part on the reader. Like I hit him at the wall, like on the side, and I did a mid and just raised shot uh, kick. Yeah, you did. Uh, you did uh, yeah, you did. You did yeah, uh, like, just did, Yeah, I saw that. That raised shot doesn't have any type of evasion. So that was some completely surprising. Like, wow, you just mm. that, you got lucky there. Yeah. Like that was ridiculous. Yeah. It was yeah. like to your left side. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, so you're, you're, you're right. So I, I, one thing I did notice is that you almost never used the new side step low. Well, like I said, he was stuck in the lock. So it's hard for me to kind of open up people with that because you had to do like side step the elbow. So execution wise, it's kind of hard at that particular range. I had to do it kind of far away. It's not like you can't use elbows like in a range zero type of situation. Just because if somebody punches you down, it's hard to kind of. Execute for forward motion and do it immediately unless you yeah, know. Yeah. But if you do it that way, then you can't zone into what they're trying to do on the offense to try to stop you. So you have to kind of be kind of far away. If somebody's like stepping mm -hmm. like he was, he wasn't really trying to gauge me at all. He was just backing up, which is fine, but I couldn't risk it at that point. Then it's going to get whiffed and he's going to do 4 4 2 or something yeah. like that. I so see. Yeah, that yeah. was kind of far. It's good against the wall, but like when you kind of can control where they're at, but Julia is. Like in lows, like in on general, so you had to be really careful with your placement. What I should have went and did is um just just kept with the lows and make him duck, and then just try to like just antagonize him with the elbow. But I had to work on that matchup some just like a certain fetish and strength. Like I'm doing pretty good at it, but I had to work on like the stuff. There were some things that I think you got. There were some things that I think you got away with as well, though. Uh, in hindsight, like. You did uh, her power crush, right? The minus 14 power crush, that the, wall, wasn't the wall bounces? Maybe not, but he didn't punish it. Maybe not, but he didn't punish it, so it didn't matter, right? So, And there were a couple other situations, like uh, you did down back for 1 plus 2 at the wall. He blocked it, no punish, right? Things like that. So I think in both ways, maybe you could go back and like look at the matchup. Uh, from uh, from both sides, I guess. Anyway, yeah, good stuff. Second place. Anyway, yeah, good stuff. Second place. I'll still see you at DreamHack. You're, I'll still see you at DreamHack, even though you don't have the ticket. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go for free. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. He's, he's never gonna beat me again. That's that's, that's all, right, all, right. all right. You heard it here first. All right, all right. You heard it here no first. first. No more losses from Shinker. Or sorry, Shinku R. Or right, sorry, Shinku R. I always call you Shinker. Ten years. Ten years. Anyway. Thanks for tuning in. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh. We're here at uh, 404 probably for the next few hours, so uh, come through, play some games with me, play some games with Panther. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, of course. Thank you.